Are you tired of Fortnite lagging on your ultra low end PC? In today's video, I'll show you how to boost your Fortnite FPS to 240 plus even on an ultra low end PC. Say goodbye to lag and stutters and get ready for smooth, high performance gameplay. So let's dive right into the video. Gear Up Booster is one of the best programs for the optimization of your ping while you play games. Using your wired or wireless connection, so get this paid program free from my description and play your game with lower ping. Or you wanna go into your settings and whatever. You wanna put window mode to full screen and make sure whatever quality you want is VSync off, that would lower your delay. And then whatever frame rate or whatever hertz you have for your monitor, set your FPS to that. So if you have a 144, sets it to 144. If I have a 240, so mine is on 240. And then the graphics really don't matter. It's just graphics quality does. So 3D resolution can be whatever you want. I just have it on 100. But everything else needs to be low. Either it needs to be the lowest it can be or off. And then show FPS on and then report. Report performance that's off. That just lowers your FPS. Okay, so the first thing you guys actually want to use is NVIDIA Profile Inspector. You can get this file from my official website. I give link in the description. Or, so since a lot of people are experiencing FPS drops and FPS stutters, this will definitely help you just because the Chapter 2 graphics are much higher. So if you guys drop it down a little bit, like turning down the grass, turning down the water quality, all those small details, your FPS will be a lot more consistent. Once you guys have NVIDIA Profile Inspector, at the top in Profiles, you guys want to type in Fortnite. Now, if you guys want every part of the NVIDIA Profile Inspector to have like the most optimized setting, I will have it linked in my Discord, but basically you guys should be importing my Profile Inspector preset settings. So I will have that linked like I said, but basically what will help you guys get more consistent FPS. First thing is in anti-aliasing, into transparency super sampling, you guys want to change this to 0x, and then a bunch of these zeros, 8AA mode, replay mode all, and then below that in texture filtering, driver controlled LOD bias want to make sure to have that on and then for LOD bias DX and OGO you guys want to go into the drop down and click on plus three for both this texture filtering setting basically just drops your quality a little bit it's not going to be like completely garbage like the potato graphic but some graphics like your wall your grass the waters all those will be dropped drastically just for your FPS to be more consistent now negative LOD bias make sure to have it on clamp and then texture, filter, and quality, make sure I have on high quality. Now scroll down to common and in power management mode, make sure I have this on optimal performance. Once you guys have all that, click on apply changes. Hey guys, now I'm going to recommend you Gear Up Booster, which you can grab for free using the link in the description. Just launch the tool, select Fortnite, and it will automatically connect you to the most optimal server for the lowest possible ping. As an example, I've managed to reduce my latency by 11 milliseconds, which has improved my overall performance by more than 100%. I've been using this for all the games I play on my PC. So be sure to check it out using the link in the description. In this step, we are going to use Park Control. Using it can enhance the responsiveness and performance of your CPU by adjusting core parking settings. You can get this file from my official website. I give link in the description. After installation here, you will find out this kind of interface and device for step you to choose here this Brissom High Performance Power Plan. Go for this drop down, select the Brissom High Performance, apply all the settings, and click onto the Make Activate for unlocking all the cores of the CPU. After that, hit Apply. Now you need to go for this option, which is the Brissom Data Boost Enable. Show Power Plan Chain Description and Show Part Settings in Power Windows. So you need to enable all these settings and check on these boxes. After that, hit OK. Your LS application will keep running in the old background whenever you turn on your PC. In this step, we are going to use the MSI utility. Using it can enhance the stability and performance of your hardware components. You can get this file from my official website. I give link in the description. And here you will go to this kind of interface of the MSI mod utility. Now in the very first step, you need to find out here your GPU model because we are going to use our GPU for reducing the infancy. So perhaps you need to go for your GPU model, whatever you are using. Checkmark on this MSI box and go for intra priority and set it on high. After that, go for your integrated GPU, that is your Intel Ultra HD Graphics 770. Go for MSI, check mark here, now you need to go for interrupt priority and set it on high. After that, hit apply and close out this MSI window. Now up is display. 
scroll on down and make sure that your refresh is at the highest. Your screen might go black for a second if you aren't at the highest. And it's just gonna say keep changes or revert. We wanna keep obviously. But then going back to display. And then here under graphic settings, you'll just wanna add your game to this list. So Fortnite, for example, gonna be installed here. Program files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, 164, and then you want to look for the Win64 shipping. It says that's already added. And then once your game is added, you want to go to options and then just select high performance. Now here's the gameplay after applying all the tweaks. Make sure to restart your PC to fully apply the changes. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video for more awesome tips.